Okay, so I'm working on the building this 6.5 engine up still. And uh, right now I'm working on kind of upgrading these rocker shafts, uh, the rocker retainer buttons here. They're made of plastic originally, and they're known to fail and break and pop off. So a really popular modification is the bolt mod. Here's what the finished product looks like. So uh, I figured I'd just make a quick how-to on how to do that because I didn't see anything else on YouTube and it might help someone else out. So as far as supplies go, uh, I got mine from this site. There's your part numbers. And it's not very expensive. I wanna say $40 max and you'll have a ton left over. So basically all we're doing is taking the bolt and then we have this uh, extra thick washer that takes place of this nylon retainer. And then the nut on the inside, um, I'm using like a mechanical locking nut with a distorted thread inside instead of like a nylon. Um, but I think the nylon should work fine also. So we're gonna start by just removing uh, these retainers. Um, I only do it one side at a time, but go ahead and remove them all. I don't think it really matters. Uh, but pretty much just take a screwdriver and get behind it and, and try and pry it out. There. There's what they look like. Um, they're a little tougher than what everyone seems to make them out to be, but I can definitely see how this is still uh, a weak point. <clears throat> so let me get this other one removed and I'll show you how to set this up. Also, when you remove them, some of them will break off like this. So just make sure you don't leave that little tail in here somewhere for it to fall out later. So now, like I said before, you take your extended washer and your bolt, have it ready, and then your nut. Go ahead and have your, remove the outer one, have your uh, rocker in place where the hole is accessible. And you want to be able to see down in the hole and you won't really be able to see in, in camera but basically i set the nut on the end of the screwdriver and slid it in until i could see the hole of the nut and then thread the bolt in putting upward pressure on it with the screwdriver and then you can take your screwdriver and turn it sideways to kind of lock the nut from spinning Go ahead, get it tightened up against the uh, inside of this uh, tube, shaft, whatever you want to call it. And then go ahead and snug it up. Then I take the nut and just set it on the end of the screwdriver. Slip it into the shaft. Get the washer on your bolt. And then just get it started. And then once it's started, rotate your screwdriver to hold it. And then snug it up and then finish it off. And I want to say one of the mo more important things about doing this is make sure that your threads have made it all the way through the nut. So as you can see, you see just a little bit sticking out the end. And that's really just important because we're using the locking style nut. Um, and you want to make sure that the threads have actually reached that point where they are engaged by the locking mechanism just so you don't rattle out and then defeat the whole purpose of this okay so i have the uh, rocker shaft installed in the, this head real quick just to show you one of my concerns was that these extended washers are not as wide as the plastic retainers were so i was afraid it might give too much side to side movement on these but if you bring it over here and check it out I mean, that's all the way to one side, all the way to the other. And we have plenty of contact space in there. So I just did that for every one of these. Let's just check and make sure that we're not going to have any issues as far as that goes. And it looks good. So I think we're in good shape there. The only other concern I had with this was now that it's metal on metal wear versus being uh, plastic, uh, which is not going to put as much wear on these rockers, which really wouldn't be as much of an issue. Um, but obviously metal on metal causes metal shavings, flakes, 
all that good stuff. But I do think they're not really going to be, you know, just completely riding on these all the time. Uh, once again, they're just kind of retainers there to uh, keep them from going from an extreme position. And I think with the top end lubricated, like it should be, you know, everything covered in oil. I don't think we'll have any problems with that. But uh, once again, just wanted to make this quick video showing how to um, and just kind of demonstrating what the point of this was. So that's going to be it for this. Did want to show we are making progress on this. Uh, we got our new water pump. Went ahead and installed it. Here's our scat crank, polished, balanced. And uh, I've been plastic gauging it to make sure we're good to go there. And I'm currently waiting on rod bearings. And one of the piston rings was broken uh, in the pistons that I ordered. But I went ahead and contacted the company. They sent one right out. So we're waiting on that to come in. Uh, but... Hopefully this will be done here pretty soon and we'll have the truck back on the road.